friends, I am Dr. Daniel Solomon, Associate Professor of Bishop Bibur College, Trichirapalli, Tamil Nadu, India. You may be coming across a lot of leadership in our country, but who is a leader? That is a question. Who is a leader? Leader is a person one who has a followers. There are a lot of people, they are saying that they are leaders, but whether they are having a followers? If there is a followers, then he is said to be called as a leader. And there is another criterion that this leader should have a goal. He must make all the followers to attain that goal. Then only he is called as a leader. So there are a lot of definition given by many authors. But leader is one who has followers and make them to reach their goal. There is a difference between a boss and a leader. A boss is a person who, who drives his man, but a leader is a person on who drives his man. Boss is a person on who order, but leader is a person on who motivates. Okay, what are the qualities required for a good leader? Physical appearance. A leader must have pleasing appearance. Physic and health are very important for a good leader. A leader can influence and direct others by his or her own impression. Every movement of leader can motivate his or her subordinate. So he or she should be careful about this. Intelligence. A leader should be intelligent enough to examine problem and difficult situation. He should be analytical who weigh pros and cons and then he summarizes the situation. Therefore, a positive bent of mind and uh, outlook is very important. Emotional stability. So, emotional stability comes from emotional intelligence. People with higher level of emotional intelligence are able to adjust their emotion to adapt to their environment, manage them and put them to positive use. Needless to say, this makes emotional stability a critical trait for leadership. Human relationship, yes, it's a very important area. So, if he is a leader, he need to compliment and praise freely. Be fair always and admit your mistake. Be grateful always and be honest. This is a very important uh, thing in a leadership. Empathy. Empathy is a leadership competency. Like no other skill that can make a big difference when it comes to leadership. Empathy means able to understand the need of others it means you are aware of the feeling and their thinking it does not mean you have to agree with the point of view but it means that you are feeling to understand and appreciate it many people are quick to empathy and touch feel skills but in true it can be difficult to make and demand to maintain a major impact of leadership. The next important is motivating skill. Motivation is nothing. We need to move further. So as a leader, you need to make the person to move further. Motivation is a word which derived from the Latin word, it's called move, which means that to move. So you need to make or to push the followers to move forward. Technical skill, mastering vocabulary, work unit knowledge and operating rule in order to understand how a business works, understanding the technical knowledge that is needed to do one job, mastering new related skills quality are very much important for a, a leader. Communication skill, it's a very important thing for a leader. So, if he is a leader, he need to communicate and the follower need to understand. 
and same like that when the follower informs something the leader need to understand what he, the followers are saying to the person social skill he need to be equal to everyone there should not be any partiality in leadership so leadership has a very vital role in our country so in order to consolidate leadership he is a person one who listening has a empathetic skill and attention towards the people devoting the life for people encouraging others to achieve the goal and he should be a role model thank you for watching this video